I'm good. I am Dan Eisenberg. This is Andy Stein. This is Neil Riddell. And we're going to be doing some reacting to EA College Football 25, which drops on Friday, July 19th. This will be coming out hopefully the next day, Saturday. Um, we have a lot of technical difficulties today, so hopefully things go well here. We're just going to play a little bit of the game and um, enjoy ourselves a little bit and talk about some memories. Uh, Neil's going to be leaving us here as the managing editor starting the end of this week. He's going to be continuing on his coverage with Penn State part-time and some of his other ventures in the community. He's going to be still involved with the Mirror Classic. He's still going to be involved with a lot of other things that you've seen him involved in over the years. So Neil's not going anywhere. Neil's not vanishing into thin air. He's still going to be around. Um, but we wanted to do something fun with him here. It's his last day um, as the big boss, basically. Um, but yeah, how you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, had yeah. lot, we had a lot of technical difficulties, and I'm glad that we're not going to show the the first half of this game that, that we were playing. Was, <laughs> we had a first attempt at this, and it didn't go very yeah. well for the game itself, just trying to get things going. And then Andy ended up in a 21 nothing hole before we could really figure out that we weren't actually recording. <laughs> and you actually... Uh, Hit the start recording button over there, there so we, we can get gameplay. There, now we're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Booted out of the back of the end. Zone. I'm just running out of the back of the end zone this time. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's, the just, most, it's the best run you've had. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> the, the first time, the first time I had a uh, a kick uh, a kick return in the back of the end zone. I tried to kneel on it, and I did not kneel. I, I ended up on the two-yard line. Oh, so. man. <laughs> we good? Yep. I'm still good. You see, I had to go back and check just because I was scared. You, you're about to get another delay of game, my friend. Oh, man. I'm much... Okay, let's hurry up. Two, one. <laughs> Let them get off, baby. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, I should, okay, I'm a yard short the first down. That's a good game. That's not bad. That's definitely yes. my best run so far. <laughs> oh, let's go with some base D. Yeah. But yeah, it was just... There's a, blah, blah, blah. I feel like I'm an anchorman today. <laughs> Uh, I, I got a sack on Darnell, or Yarnell, nice. Yeah, right. right. Yep. I've had a lot of fun with him. He, for a young guy, has been moving around the field. He should be a good player. Oh, yo, yes. He's going to be right up there with Carter as one of the top guys on this unit this year, I have a feeling. Yeah, Carter's going to be interesting. Just go, It's way different playing you know, off the ball a little bit compared to your hand in the dirt read. It's, it's way different. If it's just what he wants. Oh man, God, that, I need to put a little touch on that. Pit might have to go back to the portal. <laughs> yeah, how about it? <laughs> but usually, where they get that quarterback? Talk about yeah, portal whiffs with Trakovic, though. I thought oh. I thought that was going to play out a lot better for them. Hopefully, uh, with Bayu there, maybe he'll get a chance. And he went somewhere else, didn't he? Oh, uh, did he? Yeah, you're right. He did transfer. Again. Yeah, Bayu did transfer again. I can't remember where though. Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah, fine. Oh, boy. oh boy, oh boy. That was it. Yeah. Good. See, I have from the old games, you know how the turbo button is your trigger? Yeah. I have a very bad habit from playing the old games where I immediately jam down on the trigger to get that turbo, and then when you try and run triple option, that's your pit. That's your control to hand off to the running back. So I always end up having issues with that. I, I never noticed like who you have your uh, your player on for, on when you're on defense because I always do it on a defensive end or one of the D tackles, and I'm just like now figuring out how to like shed a blocker here. Oh boy. Okay, you're a fourth down, fourth and with the graphics on these games. Color. Oh, they, it's come a long way. Just in the last 10 years since the last one came out, it's night and day. 
I mean, I was playing, there were fans that did a revamped version of the last one, a PC port. And, I mean, it looks nice when you play it in modern, gra when you play it today, but compared to this, I just, is this the kind of, uh, like, you know, I don't know if St. Francis, don't they have the degree in, um, you know, like EA Sports, or you know what I'm talking about? No, I believe I heard St. Francis was working on some sort. I mean, they have an esports team. Right. E yes. Um, Is that where you're trained to, like, the people that in these graphics and whatnot? No, they're the ones who actually play these games competitively. Okay. Yeah. They're the ones that are going to tournaments and stuff and winning prize money and all that good stuff. Um, no, the ones that you're talking about, they're going, they're the ones that are probably going to, like, schools, probably engineering places like MIT, and places that are actually going to be developing these games and learning how to code this stuff to be able to right. make this stuff work. A little better kick up to turn this. A little bit better, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're, you're usually up front. You're not used to handling that. No, not at all. <laughs> hey, I was a lineman. Yeah. In spirit. <laughs> in spirit and in this. <laughs> <laughs> you were not supposed to assume, but we did. Yeah, <laughs> I never played anywhere but offensive and defensive lines. So, hey, so. can't have a good team without an offensive, good offensive right. line. Right. Took me into college ball. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, if you should, if we had our friend Scott Franco here right now, and he would be telling us this isn't like what it was when I was playing on the on the Super Nintendo in 1992. <laughs> this isn't like Tecmo Bowl when I was playing on the Super Nintendo. He got as far as Mount Carmel football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a rough in the past. Uh -oh. Like, oh, so that interception's coming back. Thank God. Yep. I will accept that penalty. <laughs> And you do. Roughing the passer, and you still got the football. Tell him, come on. Cool. Oh, it is. Oh, you got me on the screen. There we go. Got away with a hole. Oh, yeah. Did I get away with a hole? I think so. They've been really lax on the penalties so far. I hey, I'll, I will take it, though. <laughs> yeah. I needed something going. Well, screen again. again. Mm -hmm. uh, I ran into my blocker though. Oh, so. uh, so. Yeah, I, I have a good feeling that Rojas is going to be not bad this year. Yeah. Uh, you know, he got in a lot of games late. He racked up stats. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to say, did he redshirt last year? I feel like he did. It's hard to keep track with a lot of these guys anymore. With uh, that was cut. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a good cutback. But yeah, with the trip, with the rule, with the red shirting now that you can play four games and still keep a red shirt for the right. next year, that's a big factor for a lot of coaches and how you're gonna. I want to say he was in more than four games. Bro. That, that's kind of what I thought too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ellie's. Yeah. Uh, he's marble like that. Who was the guy? Do you remember Neil? I, I know you weren't at the Blue White game. I, that was me this year. But uh, do you remember who got the interception? Like in the second half, uh, the Blue White game. Yeah, it was a D yeah. lineman. It was a, it was a D lineman this year. Uh, oh, ooh, finally I completed a long pass. I can't say that I do. I, I remember. I remember. Forgive me. Yeah, that's all right. I remember he was from New Jersey. Okay. He was, he was a New Jersey D lineman. He, he he picked off a little screen pass. I want to say it was from Aller. Um, but I remember, I remember talking. Yeah, Aller didn't have his best game. Oh, Look at this. Running back direct snap. snap. Wow. Oh man. And now I'm in business. We're rolling now. Been off all the play. Yes, I am. This is from the straight from the teal playbook. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I did play some college ball at Teal College. I uh, we're proud of you, man. Yeah, thank you. It was some there's some really good times there. Touchdown, Yarno. Yeah. Yeah. It took me it took me long enough to get something going on here. <laughs> okay. You finally got the lead. Uh. <laughs> I have the lead right now. It doesn't. I, it doesn't say how bad I was in the first. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's rejoice. That was an exhibition. That was an exhibition. 
All right, let's see how good I am at kicking field goals. Okay, that was all right. Oh, you were on that team too. <laughs> uh, my senior year at Teal, our head coach says says to me Stein, if you if you make an extra point right now, before ever this was before practice, we will not we will not run today. I didn't get it off the ground. <laughs> So what did he make you guys run extra oh, yeah. that day? <laughs> uh, we didn't have to run extra. It's just oh, uh, I missed my tackle there. We didn't have to run extra, but uh, you wouldn't believe the pressure got to me. <laughs> I I even called my kicker over. I was like, I said, hey, come on, come on, give me some pointers over here. I got it definitely enough leg on it. Did not get it off the ground. <laughs> Pal. Ooh. Uh, hey, Troy. Yeah. I keep doing that silly thing with the, uh, with my turbo button again. Old habits die hard, I suppose. End up, go to a commotion. End of the first quarter. <laughs> Pit up 7 3. I don't know how. <laughs> well, when you have zero rushing yards and nine passing yards, that's, <laughs> that'll do it. It was like the exact opposite. <laughs> The first half. I'm gonna make so many friends of Pit fans today. They're like, you guys are making us look so good. <laughs> they need to be better than three wins this year. I know that. I hope so. It's, they, they should be. Call. I've always said, for as much as Penn State fans like to joke and rag with Pitt, college football is better when Pittsburgh is better. I agree. <laughs> and I agree. college football is better. When Pitt is not just better, but at the top of the sport, because Northern what football has been? been a long time. And, uh, oh, I dropped it. You threw a clue back to the middle. I know there are still a lot of people in the U really turned this game around. I have. A lot of the viewers don't realize that the the first half was a lot of start you got on. Now look at this. See? Andy Stein. And okay. <laughs> I, got say, I got 10 yards on that return. Yeah. All right. Take that almost every time. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of people like around here too, whether you be a Penn State fan or a Pitt fan, whatever. Um, or you know, they would State fan or whatever. But I bet a lot of people would like to see this rivalry come back too. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of people that would love to see Pitt and Penn State play every year. I know that the last couple matchups they had outside of the one where it was really, really close at Beaver Stadium down to the end of the game, they were very one-sided games. So I take that back. The first game in 2016 where Pitt won it at uh, then Heinz Field, that was one of the better games in the whole series. Right yeah, it there. was. Yeah, with each passing year, though, it's just, um, you know, sort of a lost tradition yeah. now with Penn State in the... Uh, Big Ten, the last thing you're going to see them do is play Pitt and not conference Yeah, right. Which is why you see games on the schedule like this series that they've had this past year and then going down to Morgantown this year to play West Virginia. Some of those older series that don't you don't see them very much anymore. And it's nice to get a chance to see Penn State play some of those. Another one. I think it's going to be a pick six. Yeah, I think it's going to be this. Six. Six. We yeah. Is a nose for the ball. I believe last year he had the, was it preseason camp or spring camp? He was the uh, turnover king for Penn State. Yeah. So hopefully that can continue into this year. It would be nice to see Penn State get a couple more turnovers this year. Yeah. In timely moments. That reminds me, Neil, have you... Uh, 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 another, another one. Another one. I yeah. did one earlier. <laughs> that reminds me. Have you heard anything about this? They're going to do an open practice this year again? With open practice in the fall? In the, uh, yeah, in preseason camp. Uh, I didn't know that yet. Yeah, I say that was. I, I thought it was a great thing last year. I went over and covered it for, for us and for Nittany Sports Now. And I thought it was a great thing. If fans were into it, uh, weather didn't cooperate that day, but um, but yeah, it was. Why do you get any kind of live simulation that you know that you can do, especially when you have a tough opening on the road? Uh, yeah, operation is good. Yeah. And I think they're willing to try those types of things. I wouldn't be surprised 
um, you know, and you're trying to be fan friendly. Yeah. To raise your NIL profile budget. It, it, it was a great thing last year, too. It was, uh, yeah, um, yeah, basically a little bit of scrimmaging and, uh, you know, the. Um, do you kept with the bomb? Don Don <laughs> yeah, who's a star? Yeah. I mean, he's a good story though. He came on and came on. He came on as a walk on, and now he's. I think he's the special teams captain. He reminds me of kid who he was a walk on and ended up playing safety under Bill O'Brien. He was from Central Mountain. Um, you know, oh, uh, blank on his Juan name. Walker. Juan yes, Walker. Yeah. he reminds me in a lot of ways the way he plays, the way he carries himself. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah, Walker. Um, he was kind of a good special teams player, right? Yes. Mary Lusa really had a career as a contributing linebacker. He's always a high ball boy. I took too long. Dan, that's Dan. Yep, that's me. Yeah, since we were talking, I'll decline it. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> you were a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to put my cursor on the D end here. This Matt Lack guy. I've heard of him. He wants to throw. Hey, you got to complete that. Mm -hmm. Nice, right? Yeah. yeah. See, my problem with passing. Why is the clock running after the incompletion? Uh, yeah, it should. It wasn't it should. an incompletion. No, yeah, it was completion. It should, st yeah. it should stop after our first down, though. No, I thought they changed that rule. Oh, that's right. Too. They did change that rule. They uh, changed it, so now it's just, uh, oh. I got. See, that, that's my problem with the passing game. I'm not waiting for the play to develop. You gotta wait for the play to develop. You gotta wait for. Uh, you gotta make sure you're targeting the right guy. <laughs> yeah. I say it's. It seems to be a lot more advanced than the past years. The passing system. It's not just hit a button and you yeah. know chuck it up. <laughs> eleven. Eleven years ago, yeah, it was. You can chuck it up, and not anymore. Ugh. Corey didn't use the word. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> Shout out to Corey that was James. We love you, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck it deep. <laughs> I never talked to Corey about that, Dust. Well, yeah, he is. Four yeah, and four. What do I want to do here? Order your Kobo? No, no, we're we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Ooh. An extra point already, right? Yeah. Kicking's not my forte. <laughs> yeah, kicking seems to be hard in this game too. It's only about a thirty-eight yard shot. Ooh, it paid off. Go Trey Wallace. <laughs> Trey Wallace. Is this gonna finish the half? Yeah, we're just gonna finish the half. Okay. He's so, down at the two-yard line, right, Andy? Yeah, Dan's down at the two-yard yeah. line. Yeah, yeah. you got to stop him. In a blitz? I guess, oh, man, I need to be in goal line defense. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> good thing is I did have oh, a blitz on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Singleton. It's not a Heisman moment. So, second and goal from the four. Oh, is this going to go how I want it to? We'll see. Oh, hey, no. that's my <laughs> tackle right there. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh okay, boy, what do we got? Oh, we're at the two-minute warning now. Third and yeah. goal from the six. Yeah, that's going to take some getting used to, the two-minute warning mm -hmm. in college. What's another timeout they can use? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's going to affect the strategy in those late game moments, yeah. those two minute, four minute situations. How about that? Yeah. Nice. Tyler Warren, Tyler Warren. Warren down. I cannot imagine Tyler Warren doing that dance, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, oh, very, very well done. You see the pit people were up in the. Top right corner of the stadium. Yep, that attention to detail. I think one of our many recordings that we've attempted today, we mentioned at one point. <laughs> this game has a lot of great attention to detail. The dev team's done a really great job with yeah. this. I mean, for fans of this game that have waited 11 years, 
through NIL stuff and the Ed O'Bannon case and hoping beyond hope that this game might come back someday and EA definitely wrote themselves a love letter to college football diehards. Yeah, yeah. And Maybe I'm we should write really, something about this for our first game day. We should. <laughs> yeah, that's an idea, yeah. Yeah, I was, I've been excited for this all week, honestly. <laughs> That's a, Andy and I have been are having our little private messages back and forth, and at least took some time to what the play developed there. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I know Andy's been excited. I've had it since Monday, and I've hardly wanted to play just because I've been looking forward to this. I've been yeah. getting looking forward to getting a chance to try this out and explore a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying anything here. <laughs> I know, I know, like, on paper, Penn State has more talent than Pitt, but, oh, man, like, the, the guy behind the joystick here, he's not doing Pitt any favors. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing that I have noticed, and I'm, you'll see, you've, I'm sure you've noticed the little stadium meter up in the corner there. Yep. They made it significantly harder to play on the road. Like it should be. Like it should be harder to play on the road. Yeah. What are you going to do here, Andy? Fourth and two. Fourth and two. Since we're only playing one half, I'm going to go. Uh, yeah. Need a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, normally if we were playing a whole game, I would. Uh, I would definitely. I would definitely. I would well, definitely. You got your first down. Yeah. Do I get a timeout here? Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. That's still the same. Yeah, pretty much all the controls are the same except for like a few of the tweaks that I've tried to catch you on as we go along. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm figuring things out again as we go along. A lot of it's the same. A lot Obviously, of it's the there's same, yeah. nothing's ever gonna be quite one for one. But the the biggest thing that I see from 11 years ago is you gotta let your passing game develop. You gotta mm -hmm. let plays develop. And I believe, and I haven't gotten a chance to sit and mess with it yet. Uh, oh, how about that, Carter? Nice. I haven't gotten a chance to sit and with mess with it yet, but I think it is possible to switch back to the old set for the old passing settings. Yeah. So it, if you really, really want to do that and just have a feel for the way it used to be, you can do that. I, I'm the kind of guy that I like to make things as realistic as possible. So, and this is more realistic. I see. Wasting a lot of time. I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. well, you got the clock stopped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I think it's this time where. I gotta, I gotta do like a uh, a hail mary type thing here, on third and twenty from my own nineteen yard line. <laughs> oh, he got it! How about that? How about there goes that? Addison. Oh, he's at USC. Mumfield. <laughs> Mumfield. I don't know this guy. Wow. <laughs> oh man. I got lucky right there. How about that? <laughs> Big play. Eighty oh, plus sick. yard pass and touchdown. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> 18 <laughs> seconds to go. You got an onside kick coming, too. Oh, yeah, I do. As I said, normally I wouldn't do that uh, before halftime, but we're only playing one half here, so. Let's see. I Oh, man, it's been a long time since I did an onside kick in this game. Oh, we got faith in the end. Uh, bounce high. Let's see. Uh, oh. oh, I didn't get to bounce, but I can. <laughs> he was down there with one hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All that. <laughs> oh boy, that was uh, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I'm gonna do what Miami wasn't able to do last year. Oh, I'll take the knee. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to, and they won't let me. <laughs> Shield punch. Oh, oh, there it is. Nil. There we go. It was hiding from me. <laughs> I got to call a timeout anyway because I'm about to get nailed for delay a game. <sighs> yeah. There we go. Drew Aller's going to take the knee. All right. Well, this has been fun. <laughs> this has been awesome. Thank you, Andy, fellas. This was a good game. <laughs> Congratulations. Good Thank job, you for man. playing. This was um, fun. All right. Neil. Thanks for having me, good oh. boys. We maybe, appreciate maybe I'll you. I'll come back sometime for this. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you guys like more of this stuff, let us know. We're looking to 
hopefully branch out and expand our horizons here moving into a new era at the mirror so uh we're looking forward to it thanks again we'll see you guys soon